For me, the secret of a great gazpacho is overripe tomatoes. Peppers, cucumber, a little bit of heat with a garlic, but you've got to leave it to marinade. First, peppers. Cut around the flat edges to minimise waste. Then chop. Well, the nice thing about making a gazpacho, there's no set recipe, because you can put it together purely all tomatoes, half peppers, half tomatoes. I like the flavour of the cucumber in there as well. That gives it that freshness. The secret of a great gazpacho is the longer you leave it marinating, the better the flavour. So if you can get this done the night before and left in the fridge, the results are stunning. The green and red peppers have subtly complementary flavours and go well with ripe tomatoes. Start off by removing the bitter core. Get a little knife and just put it in where the core is and twist it round and you get this little core out. I remember my first experience eating a gazpacho in Spain. Mind-blowing. I've never forgotten that. Quarter your tomatoes, keeping the juicy seeds that add so much depth of taste. Nice. Then from there, cucumber. Just peel that. The seeds I'm going to leave in. That gives it the flavour and the texture. Cucumber in a gazpacho does exactly what it does in a pims. It sort of freshens it up and makes it mouth-watering. Slice that in half. Again, into quarters and chop. Now to give gazpacho its unique texture and thicken the soup, bread. And the crispier the crust, the better. Then garlic thinly sliced. Next, spring onions. Nice and roughly chopped. And basil, stalks and all. We can use stalks and basil stalks, parsley stalks, tarragon stalks. They have the most amazing flavour. Basil in. And now, we're going to start marinating. Salt, black pepper and a good coating of olive oil. This gives it a glossy, creamy flavour. And the sherry vinegar. That's the perfect vinegar for the gazpacho. It's a strong, acidic complement to the flavours. Then just mix it up. And the smell already is incredible. It doesn't look like a gazpacho, but by the time this marinates and all those flavours start getting to know one another, all of a sudden you've got this huge explosion of contrast. Now, push that down. In the restaurants, we press the marinade down overnight, a couple of big pans on top, and we crush all the ingredients and then blitz it the next day. The flavour is extraordinary. Leave all those fresh ingredients packed with goodness to marinate from half an hour to even overnight. And then when you blend it, it just comes together like this sumptuous, rich, delicious, chilled soup. To go with my super tasty soup, I've got an ultra healthy and exciting dessert. Carpaccio of pineapple, which is a chef way of saying super thinly sliced. It's done with a twist. We're going to have a delicious, flavoured salt. It has to be flavoured with vanilla. Simply scrape out the vanilla seeds and add to sea salt along with the pot to store. Now, that basically keeps forever. There's no sell-by date because it's salt and vanilla. So, so fragrant, so delicious. You don't need much of this fragrant salt to intensify the sweetness of the pineapple. The pineapple. Slice peeled pineapple into wafer-thin pieces. It's almost like nice little discs. Slightly transparent. Once you've sliced the pineapple, take the flavour to another level. A light sprinkle of vanilla salt and arrange the pineapple in a flower shape. It's a beautiful way of finishing a meal. The fragrance of the vanilla, the crunch with the salt. And the vanilla salt just marinades the pineapple beautifully. Then scatter nutrient-rich pomegranate seeds over the top. To finish, finely shredded fresh mint. Just slice them really thin. And then that give that nice, cool, minty flavour to the pineapple. My carpaccio is ready and my gazpacho has been marinating in the fridge. Time to blend the soup.
in. Onto your blender and start off nice and slowly. Blend until super fine and gloriously silky and serve refreshingly cold. Get your bowl and pour it in. Now, to finish it, get some fresh basil, roll it nice and tight and shred it and then drop it into your bowl. Fresh chopped basil and then finally, just a touch of extra virgin olive oil just to give that really nice additional freshness. And look at that, healthy and delicious. Gazpacho soup to me is a taste of Mediterranean sunshine in a bowl, followed by the wafer-thin carpaccio of pineapple with jewels of pomegranate goodness for dessert. Practically all of your five a day in one incredible healthy lunch. My next simple salad that's perfect for a party is green bean salad with mustard dressing. For the dressing, wrap a whole bulb of garlic in foil and roast it in a hot oven. Next, add top and tail green beans to salted boiling water and cook for just a couple of minutes. This is called blanching and keeps the beans deliciously crunchy. Strain the beans and refresh in cold water. This stops the cooking process so they stay crisp and green. Next, remove your garlic from the oven. Cut off the head and squeeze out all the glorious garlic, which has gone creamy, mellow and divine in the oven. Then simply add sharp white wine vinegar, a dollop of Dijon mustard and sweet runny honey. Season and pour in a good glug of olive oil. Then whisk, add the crunchy blanched green beans and top with toasted almonds for a lovely nutty note and crunchy texture. Mix well and serve heavenly mustard vinaigrette with a hit of mellow roast garlic. Stunning green beans, dressed to perfection. My next salad that's great for any big bash is roasted red pepper, lentil and herb salad. Add pre lentils to vegetable stock, along with a bay leaf and boil for 15 minutes. Pui lentils are perfect for salads. They have a great meaty flavour and a delicious bite for texture. Next, chop sweet red peppers and place on a baking tray, along with diced courgette. Drizzle over olive oil, season and roast in a hot oven. To assemble the salad, place the drained lentils in a large bowl. Then add olive oil, and chop some blushed tomatoes. Take the roasted red peppers and courgettes from the oven and add. Along with chopped avocado, as its delicious creamy flesh gives the salad a lovely contrast. Season. Then, for a big herby hit, chop a handful of chives and basil and add. Squeeze over lemon juice and mix. Earthy, aromatic and packed full of goodness. Absolutely stunning, served with roasted meats and fish, or perfect eaten just by itself. <laughs>